This is news at 8 on Ramo TV. I am Uyemi Didamlola, Best City Atlantic. I have nothing to do with Collapse Lagos Building, Shimajo. MTN Nigeria gets CBN approval for Momo Payment Service Bank. Amoteku is feeling insecurity vacuum, says at Keridolo. Abiodo appoints new head of service in Oko. American actor Chris Evans to be named sexiest man alive for 2021. Welcome to King Victor's Enterprise. King Victor Nigeria Enterprises. It's a make I tell you now, say, Una with a self provision, noodles, granite oil, and other food items there. Emini Yaloja Ikene, Mrs. Olubumi Oluwole. King Victor is a nice son, I mean, because he's a son to me, and he doesn't shit. King Victor Nigeria Enterprises are one major distributors, Honeywell, Golden Penny, King's Oil, Gino, at the Bear Law. Bo bo a wanti wanti mba wa do opo La te ye wa Won ki bi sa dan kata fa won kanti won je lodo wa So na na Mrs. Kende Ake o la for la ke Dega chike mu o gere market Nene sha gon customer na Nene na zo nse ya abu Ye na se ya abu dega hanon King Victor Come straight to King Victor Nigeria Enterprises Atok Service Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo has associated himself from the 21 story building which collapsed in Lagos on Monday. In a statement by his spokesman, Laolua Konde, Oshimbajo, who expressed sympathies with families of victims of the building collapse, also denied making moves to influence the Lagos State Housing Regulatory Authorities to, give, to favor foul play. The vice president, who alleged attempts by political actors to use the institution to humiliate his image, also accused online news outlets, Tara reporters, of being sponsored to engage in a smear campaign against this person. Still on our top stories, MTN Nigeria Communications PLC says it has received approval in principle from the Central Bank of Nigeria for license application for the Momo Payment Bank Limited. This is contained in a notice signed by the, signed by the company secretary, Mrs. Uto Opana, posted on the website of the Nigeria Exchange Limited on Lagos on Friday. According to the notice, this is the first step in the process towards the final approval, subject to certain conditions as stipulated by the Central Bank of Nigeria. The notice said that the decision to issue the final approval was firmly within the regulatory review of the Central Bank of Nigeria, and their rights and judgments in that regard will be respected by the MTN Nigeria. It read, MTN Nigeria affirms its commitment towards the financial inclusion of the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and continues to explore means whereby it can contribute to its while we look forward to the eventual grant of the final PSB license, we will continue to communicate material information in accordance with the regulatory obligations and guidelines, it said. On national news, the governor of Ondo State, Rotimi Akeridulu, San, on Thursday declared that the Western Nigerian Security Network Agency, codenamed Amote Corps, is effectively filling the vacuum created by the outstretched conventional security challenges, particularly the police in the state. According to a statement on his Facebook page, Akari Doli said this when he played host to the participants of the hostility of the National Defense College, Abuja, led by the Commandant Rear Admiral Oladele Daji. This is as he noted that Amotel Corps is a product of circumstances which is essentially created to fill the obvious security gap in the state for the security of all, adding that it has brought relevant peace to the state. The statement said that Kerry Dolu, who particularly commended the military for, the, for ensuring peace and security in the country, equally disclosed that his administration had enjoyed necessary support and cooperation from all the heads of security agencies in the state, including the Army, Police, NSCDC, DSS, and others. On state news, Governor Dakwa Biodun of Ogun has appointed Dr. Nofiu Agro as the new head of civil service in the state. This is contained in the statement issued, on, issued in Abelkuta on Friday by Tokumbo Talabi, the Secretary to the State Government. According to the statement, the appointment takes effect from November 4th. It stated that until its appointment, Aguru was the Permanent Secretary of Hospitals Management Board. He was born on March 25, 1963. He's a consultant, orthopedic and trauma surgeon. He is a recipient of awards including the Best Health Worker Award 2007 by the Ogun State Government, the statement announced. The news agency of Nigeria reports that the immediate former head of civil service, Alaja Selimot Otu, retired from the service on Thursday. Finally, on entertainment, American actor Chris Evans to be named sexiest man alive for 2021. 
Captain American Star will cover the coveted front page of People magazine. According to page 6, Evans was lined up for the title last year but had to sit out after he accidentally shared the photo of his nude on Instagram. The 40-year-old actor will be unveiled on the cover of People next week. Back in 2020, actor Michael B. Jordan was crowned the sexiest man alive. However, page 6 revealed that Evans was dropped because of the Instagram incident. In September 2020, Evans appeared to accidentally upload nude pictures of himself while attempting to post an Instagram video. He quickly deleted it, but it was ultimately too late as screenshots were posted to Twitter, sending its fans into frenzy. And that's it on the news at 8 on Remo TV. For more news updates, you can follow us on all our social media platforms Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. It's official Remo TV. You can also visit our website www.remotv.com.au. I am Uyeri Damrena.